Coming at you from Tokyo, Japan, my name is Dave, and this is my Toyota Altezza. I've never been a fan of these fenders, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Lucky for me, they're not even tight. I wonder if I did that because I was afraid they were gonna get stuck in there. Unfortunately, the headlight has to come out too, I think. If I recall correctly, yeah, headlight bolts to it. I don't actually know what's happened to my 10 mil socket. It's gone AWOL. Things I'm not doing, putting all of the bolts back in. I'll put some of them in. Okay, this doesn't come out because of the clip onto the bottom. You just have to sort of get it to get it to let go and then you're good. The key thing here is to not pull on that because that'll just snap straight off. Don't pull on that. Oh, that'll do. Good. What else is holding this on? Ah, uh, here. I have, in fact, if you can believe it, lost the 10 mil, so I had to get another one. I have more than one. Quite a few more than one. That comes out. That should be pretty much off. Get the back end. Got a couple of screws down in here. Hopefully we can reach with the screwdriver. It's speed clips on the back. Just using that on the back. It's not very good. These are supposed to be, oh, that just, just fall off. Okay, cool. Those are supposed to locate themselves, but uh, yeah, no, not on this. Now open the door, one there, and there's probably one underneath. There's two underneath. These really don't want to come out of here. All right, there's one. Yeah, they re really, really don't want to come out of here. Hope it doesn't snap off. Oh no, that's exactly what happened. Snapped off, I'm not going to be retrieving that. As long as there's one holding on at the bottom, that's enough for me. Oh, there's one on the inside too, uh, is it? Oh, I see, from the deep. Can I get in there with this? No, I have to turn the, turn the steering wheel to get to it. Okay, try that. All the way up in here. Nah, need a longer extension. Missing 10 mil was attached to the missing long extension. So, oh shit. Go in there, get that off. Now it's just this one here. Which hopefully I can get from here. I'm gonna put some anti-seize on these because if oh, that should just lift off, yeah? I am putting original fenders back on it. Why? I don't think I need the extra width for one. And for two, I think they look better. This is not the nicest fender in the world. It's all like flared out here. Someone's pulled it and it's all rippled and horrible, but at least it's black. Oh, it's quite, um, it's quite bent. Yeah, the black actually makes it difficult for you to see. Something you don't usually hear on this channel. That's difficult for you to see. Three on the top. Going back for an OEM bolt rather than the fancy ones. And I do want some um, anti-seize on that. Got some LB8150 here. This is a anti-seize. It gets everywhere. You turn into Tin Man if you ever touch this stuff, but it's quite poisonous I hear too, but whatever. This is gonna stop it from getting stuck and also getting rusty. So you just put some of that on there and uh, you're good to go. You're good to go, mate. Doesn't need a lot. You just gotta line it back up with the hole, wherever the f that is. I think it was the back one that snapped, was it? I don't remember. Oh, shit. I don't know where the f the hole is. There it is. Found the hole. Using the wrong tool for this. Should be a ratchet. Yeah, wrong tool. Ah, oh, shit. Got a shorter socket. Maybe I can get to this underside one. To do it up properly. Can, beautiful, excellent. Some of this shit on here. It's horrible shit, but whatever stops rust is a friend of mine. That's on there enough. Yeah, okay, cool. I will put this lower nut on just because, because I can. Got the socket with the magnet in it. Ooh. Except I think my socket bottomed out. Nope, it's just, it's just there. Okay, cool. Right, where are my speed clips at? 
Jeez, Dave, you're being rough with that. Yeah, sure am. There you go, that's on there. Beautiful. Oh, there's another bolt there that needs to go in. Shit, okay. All right, where's the headlight? Headlight nut, where did that drop to? I wonder. Here it is. I am only putting one of them in because it doesn't need two on the side. This one at the top, that one there, and this point here will stop it from moving around too much. Toyota, why do you use 70 bolts to hold a headlight on? Not necessary. Main headlight bolt is this one. Yeah, that's rusty, so I'm gonna put some of this shit on there to stop that in its tracks. Beautiful. See, that's all you need. Don't need anything more than that. This isn't even the best looking fender. Like it's got a hole in it here. And yeah, it's pretty crusty, but it's black. Rinse and repeat over here. I didn't even have this side bolted in. Check that out. That's easy. Put this one on the side here. just undid this screw with my fingers. Easy. Why don't you drop to the ground? Side's nowhere near as bad as the other side. Don't speak too soon. Nowhere near as bad. That come out easy. So we'll loose the bottom. Because the fiberglass is kind of flogged out on that back hole, I ended up using this folded over a piece of metal as like, uh, what would you call it? A washer. Screw through there and this would press on the fiberglass and hold it in place. It actually worked really well. Are these tight? Well, I'm probably gonna need the tool at least. I'll bring all the bolts over as well while I'm here. Hey, save myself trips. Save myself from tripping, tripping balls over here. Why aren't you reusing these? I don't know, I just, I'd rather something stealthier than that. The risk of that is, of course, that you get everything so stealthy that men won't be able to tell you've modified anything. You won't be able to attract as many men to look at your car. This might be the gayest thing I own. All right, where's the other one? I hung, up, hung up on something? Nope, oh, it's the light. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> Um, I thought it'd be a good idea to use some zip ties to hold all this together, so that's what we've got. I need some side cutters to get that off. There we go. That's a bit, um, a bit destroyed. What the hell happened there? It's a lot of, a lot of dirt and shit. Oh, oh wow. I wonder if that's where Altez is rust up in here because that's just all full of all full of junk. That's horrible. What the hell, dude? Note to self, I need to clean in here because this is just horrible. It'll rust around the windscreen if I don't clean that out. Now this black fender's off a different car, so it's actually in different condition. Oh look, still got the bolts in the bottom of it. That's handy. And they look in good condition. Oh look, a light, cool. And the plug. This fender's the gift that keeps on giving. Hmm, okay. Well, one thing's for sure, these fenders need a polish. The other one's not actually that bad. This one is dreadful. Oh shit, whoops, forgot about my light. Oh, just bent my fingernail all the way back. 
Okay, so what are we doing here? To fix this, I'm gonna have to repin it because the whole plug's been destroyed. Uh, do I go to that effort or do I just do that? Do, do that, he says. Yeah, just simply, just simply do that. Christ, there we go. Just do that. I mean, it works. It works, it works, leave it, it works. What do you think of the Astro Products ratchet? Oh, it's a piece of shit. This, this ratchet just changes itself to undoing so easily. You just bump it just a little bit and you go on the wrong way. Do the old, use your fingers to see. If that makes sense to you or them. Perfect. This is supposed to be for white paint, but we're gonna do it anyway. Not even doing the whole car. I didn't even wash this first. <laughs> I probably should have. Although, I don't think this is gonna actually do anything. You gotta wash it first. <sighs> don't tell me what to do. Uh, I mean, it's better, but it's not good. It's got a lot of watermarks on it. Looks like it's, yeah, it's really, really watermarked. But, I mean, it matches the rest of the car, really. I don't need $1,000 fenders on a $200 car. That'll do. They're black. Better than white. Not exactly nice, but, I mean, it's, like I said before, it's, it's better than white, in my opinion. It sucks because the paint on this one's actually better than the paint on the other one, but this one's all scratched up and So it's like, that's a better shape and in better condition, but this has got better paint on it. I'm just happy to have a black front end again. And if you're wondering, yes, it is getting attached with zip ties. Pretty damn stoked to have fog lights again because I'm a fan of the old fog lights. I'm a fog light fan. This fender's still got the clip in it. That's remarkable. I could remark on that. Perfect. This one doesn't. <laughs> one at the bottom. It'll be fine. <laughs> 